So, I'm in the final stage of the artificial insemination video that I'm doing here. So, again, I have the semen and everything here. So, basically, the 12 millimeters of the semen I have here, which I'm going to put inside the doll. Um, this is a 9 inch tube that goes inside of the female that will connect to this and I will inject the semen inside of her. Also, um, there is a special non commercial lubrication that you use. I mean, this is specifically uh, used on animals when you do artificial insemination. Um, it helps the procedure to go through a little bit more easier and it also helps you to not damage anything in the inside of the female. So this is preferably some stuff that you would use. You can buy it off of a, in a, any type of dog animal breeding website as well. And so this is what I'll use. So I'm going to pretty much <clears throat> grab my female connector to here and then I'll go ahead and stick the tube inside of her. Um, we'll see if she gives me a hard time or does she give me an easy time. I mean this female um, she has been bred before and had litters before. Usually when you have a dog that's been bred before and tied before um, and artificial insemination done on them before, they usually don't give you such a hard time, but we'll see. She's a little excited to be back in the house, so we'll see how she acts. Because you get so much hair on you because of these dogs and I usually lay the dog um, across my leg so I pull the tail here what I have um, obviously she's, she's, she's really overdoing herself right now no 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 do it like this way. Makes it easier. And she's obviously giving me a hard time. Being very excited to be in the house. So. <clears throat> oh, the tail is just not as good as it. I thought that she would be easy and she's not. She's being very difficult right now. This is usually kind of like the check that you do. Um, there's still blood. That's okay. This is the disgusting part. A lot of my friends that know I do this, they make fun of me and they laugh at me and they tell me that I molest my dogs and they say that I jack my dogs off and they think it's funny and they think that I like this. I love to enjoy, I enjoy doing this as a hobby and as a breeder. But this is the disgusting part, and I'm not happy with doing this, and this is, this is not something that I think is fun to do. But it's a job, you know, outside of doing this and working inside of an animal hospital. This is a job, and um, I enjoy working with animals. So for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and loop this up pretty good to where we're able to put this inside of her. And if I can get her to stop wagging her tail, I don't want her to knock any of this over. Um, this is a very tricky part because you don't just stick the tube inside of the dog like this. It has to go in, preferably like this, and it goes in at an angle like this, and it kind of goes in like that, and it goes up in an upward straight angle like that. It's kind of hard to explain. I mean, I've done this so many times that I specifically know how to do it. Like, I kid you not, I've probably done this like 500 times. So, you'll see me enter this in, and I, I, hopefully you guys can see this on the video, to where it go, I'm going up, and I'm slowly going in, and going upward, and going in, and boom. That nine inch tube, I'm sticking it inside of her. And we're 
we're going to go ahead and stick the semen We always want to try to keep things as clean as possible. There's still a lot of blood coming from her right now. So we got that portion done right there. We always get a little bit of a mess, just a little bit, especially if we have a, a female like this girl that I have right here who's just too excited. You know, she just needs to relax just a little bit. And then I take the empty one, which is just pretty much pushing some air to push it inside of her to where it doesn't all come back out. And boom. That is the final step of it. And then from here, I pull it out. And I have it pressed up against the napkin pretty well. And... Um, oh, well, that's okay, it doesn't matter that it fell. And usually, um, after I put this inside of the dog, I usually sit like this um, for a second because you don't want anything to drip like right out, right away after you put it inside of them. And you kind of just let the dog relax. And I usually sit with them for like uh, about five minutes after this. Um, in most cases, it is kind of very important that you don't let the dog go pee right away after this. So hopefully when I take Layla off of here, um, I'm gonna go stick her back in the crate because I don't want her to go, I don't wanna take her back outside so she can go run and pee right away. We wanna allow some time for the semen to get inside of her and everything to be okay. As you can see right now, she's real pansy and I, and I did have to make the leash really short so she wouldn't be moving around so much as what she's doing right now. So. I'm trying to, uh, you know, give it as much as time as I can, but, uh, you know, Layla is just really, really, really want to be wiggly, so, and then we're in the house, we're not outside, so obviously I don't want all this nasty stuff on my floor, so we'll, we'll, we'll go with that for right now, and she's got me covered in her hair. And I'll stick her in the crate. And that's all for right now.